Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the Content Aware Fill in Photoshop to work a whole lot better than it does just out of the box. This may well be the secret for making the Content Aware Fill turn from something that only works on occasional images to something that you can use pretty regularly for removing unwanted elements from your photos. Before we get started on this project, let's have a look and see what we're trying to do. In this image, I want to remove this flamingo, but if I try and do that using the Content Aware Fill tool, I'm going to pick up bits of this flamingo and probably bits of this plant. What I want to end up is something that looks like this, and so we're going to see in this video how we can do it. So I'm going to start back with this image and let's approach it as if we were just going to remove this bird. So I'm going to make a selection around the bird using the lasso tool, and then because I'm working on the background layer, I can just press delete and that brings up the fill option. If I weren't working on the background layer, I could choose Edit and then Fill, and we'll go to Content Aware. And when I click OK, what Photoshop does is it removes this area from the image and it uses detail that's surrounding that bird for the fix. And you can see here that we have problems. We've got parts of the bird and parts of the plant. Now before you throw the Content Aware Fill tool out, it's wise to know how you can train it to do a better job. I'm going to choose Edit Undo Fill. I'm going to deselect my selection and I'm going to add a mask to this layer. And I do that using the Add a Mask icon here at the bottom of the layers palette. Now I'm going to target this mask. I'm going to select a brush and I'm going to use a brush that has 100% hardness because what I want to do is to paint on this mask over the areas in this image that I do not want Photoshop to use as a fix. So I don't want it to think that it can use this other flamingo as a fix for this area. I also don't want it to think that it can use any of this greenery, so I'm just going to mask that out. And I'm going to mask out this plant too. So now all Photoshop can use is this remaining area of the image. Perhaps I'll just get rid of those bits as well. So now let's go back to our image. Let's go back to our lasso tool. Let's go back to selecting the area that we want to remove, which is this entire flamingo. Just made a selection around it, and now because we're working on a regular layer, not the background layer, I'll need to go and do Edit, Fill, and I'm going to use Content Aware again, and I'll click OK. Again, Photoshop will go and look at the surrounding area to fix this area with, but because it's only been given content that we actually want to use and not the flamingo and the plants, you can see that it's done a really, really good job because we set it up for success. Now, of course, we have a slight problem in that we're missing part of our image, and that's easily gotten rid of. I'm going to click on the mask and drag and drop it onto the trash can. And when I do, Photoshop asks me if I want to apply the mask. Well, I don't want to apply the mask because I don't want to lose these areas of the image. I just want to delete it, so I'll just click Delete. Here's the rest of my image back. I need to now go select deselect to deselect the selection, and I've successfully removed the bird from the image without having to do anything more than just make sure that Photoshop was focusing on the area that I actually wanted it to use when removing that flamingo from the image. So if you use a masking technique like this, you'll find that Content Aware Fill will work better for you. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and other tutorials on this Lightroom channel. Consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be alerted when new video tutorials are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.